Hey, this is FJ Mix and welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can create two really cool text effects in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is our hallway text effect. And for that, we're gonna create a new composition. And this composition is gonna be 1920 by 400 pixels. And it's gonna be called hallway source. And we're gonna hit enter. And as you can see, it creates a really wide comp. And we're gonna create a new solid by doing Control or Command Y on our keyboard. And we're gonna make it 960 by 400, and we're gonna make it a white solid. And we're gonna hit Enter. We're gonna use our Align panel to align all the way to the left. And we're gonna hit Command or Control D and duplicate it. And we're gonna align it to the right. We're gonna hit Shift Command Y to access our solid settings and we're going to change our color to black. Now we're going to hit enter and save our solid settings and we're going to add some text on top of each solid. So I'm just going to be really original and call it text. And this text is white in color so I'm just going to quickly resize it and align it horizontally or sorry vertically. And I've got my text over here ready. Uh, now I'm just gonna duplicate it and drag it to the left and center it approximately here and make the color black. So now we've got our source comp ready. Now we're gonna create a new composition and we're gonna just call this hallway. And this is gonna be 1920 by 1080. We're gonna hit enter. And this creates our composition. Now what we're gonna do is create a new solid and this is gonna be black and make sure it's the comp size. And we're just gonna rename this our BG for background. And we're gonna drag in our hallway source comp. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect called motion tile. So we're gonna go to our effects and presets and type in motion tile and we'll drag and drop it onto our text. And what we're gonna do is make our output width 500. Now to make that hallway look, I have some really precise values that you're going to want to enter in each one to make the exact effect. But of course, feel free to play around with each one to get the desired effect. We are going to rename this one our left layer. And we're going to make it a 3D layer. So we're going to go into its position and we're going to make it 0 by 540 by 200 and we're gonna leave its rotation as is. Next, we're gonna duplicate this. We're gonna rename this our right layer and we're gonna change the position to 960 by 540 by negative 200. And we're gonna make its rotation negative 180 on the Y rotation. All right, we're gonna duplicate this again and we're gonna rename this bottom. We're gonna make this position zero by 740 by zero. And we're gonna take this rotation, and make it 90 on the X and 180 on the Y. And lastly, we're gonna duplicate it again and we're gonna rename this top and we're gonna to go to the position, and make it 960 by 340. And we're gonna rotate this to just 90 degrees on the X and leave the Y at zero. Now all you can see over here is just our comp backwards, but to fix that, we're just gonna create a new camera. And we're gonna go here to new and camera. We're gonna make our camera 15 millimeters because it gives it that endless look that we're going for in this effect. So we're gonna click okay and as you can see, it zooms in a little bit because of the perspective. And now we're gonna go to our camera's position. We're gonna make it 960 by 540 by zero. And we're gonna take its Y rotation and make it uh, 90 degrees. And you can see it's perfectly set up for us. Now, next thing we wanna do is animate the hallway to go in. What we're going to do is just add an effect called offset. 
And what we're gonna do is keyframe our shift center to, and we're gonna hit U on our keyboard to show all keyframes. We're gonna go all the way to our end of the, the end of our timeline, and we're gonna make this zero. And we're gonna take this offset for the left layer, and we're gonna copy it and go to the beginning of our timeline and paste it onto the top layer. Now. The next thing we're going to do is paste it onto our bottom layer and press U on our keyboard and go all the way to the end of the timeline and make this 1920 for the bottom one. And finally, we're going to take the offset for the bottom one and copy and paste it onto the right one. So now, if we quickly scrub through it, you can see that it's going in perfectly. All right. Now, we just have to do a few last things. So first thing we want to do is take our X rotation and keep, uh, and give it an expression so that it rotates and gives it an even cooler effect. And for that, we're going to press Alt on our keyboard and click on the st stopwatch for X rotation. We're going to type in time asterisk 20. So this expression is going to allow our camera to rotate endlessly like so. Now we're going to do one last thing which is we're going to give it a little bit of color. So for that we're going to right click and add a new adjustment layer. We're going to go to our effects and presets and type in tint. We're going to drag the tint effect to our adjustment layer. And now we can adjust our black and white colors in this to any color we want. And I have some specific colors that you guys saw in the preview before the video. So I'm going to change it to that. So we're going to map black to F214BC. And we're going to ma map white to 0F0A6D. And there you guys go. We have our endless hallway effect. And make sure you guys... Uh, play around with this and get the look that you guys want. Alright, let's move on to our next effect. So for our next effect, we're going to make a sphere of text. And for that, we're going to create a new comp. We're going to call it sphere source, and we're going to make it 1800 by 740. And we're going to create this composition. And we're going to add a layer of text. So I'm just going to say text again and make it white. We're just going to scale it up and make it uh, basically take up majority of the composition. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more. And that's all we need to do for our source. We're going to make a new composition. We're going to call this sphere text wall. And I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080. We're going to hit enter. And we're going to drag our sphere source into this. And I'm going to give it a, an, effect, an effect called CC Repetile. And we're going to expand each one to 5,000. So 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Well, you'll see that after we've changed all this, nothing has happened. So to see the effect of this effect, we're just going to scale this down to 20%. And boom, it's made a bunch of copies, and it's going to be extremely useful for our effect. So what we're going to do is take the position of this and animate this from left to right. So we're going to drag it all the way to the left until the end of the effect, so which is about here. And we're going to go all the way to the end. We're going to drag it to the right. Make sure when you're dragging this to the left and the right, you hold shift and drag it to the left and right because it makes sure it, makes sure it has the same horizontal position. Now, we have a really simple wall of text that's animating. And now, what we're gonna do is go and create one last composition. And this is gonna be called Sphere. And it's also gonna be 1920 by 1080. And we're gonna click OK. And we're gonna add our Sphere text wall on here. Alright, uh, but first we're going to quickly add a new solid and we're just going to make this nice red color over here. And we're going to put it there. 
So now we're gonna add an effect called CC Sphere. So we're gonna go to our panel and search up CC Sphere and drag it onto our text wall. And as you can see, this basically uh, completed our effect and we can increase the radius to see what it did a little better. And with a little bit of tweaking, you can see how we can make this look like the example. But there is one problem. So if we change our render to the inside, which is basically removing that outside layer, you can see that there's a little bit of weird masking going on over here. And we have to fix that somehow because it can be very noticeable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to outside. And we're gonna rename this to inside. And if we want to give it the look of an inside of the inside of a sphere, we're gonna to have to do some tinkering around and add some effects to it. So first we're gonna change the light intensity to 151 with a line height, light height of 100 and a light direction of zero. And we're gonna to go to the shading and make the ambient zero. And now that we've got that, we're gonna add an effect called bulge. So we're gonna go to, go into our panel and type in bulge, and we're gonna drag it onto our sphere. And now as you can see, this, is, this effect is covering a really small radius. So what we wanna do is change our horizontal and vertical radius to the same radius as the sphere. So we're gonna take the radius and make it 405, 405 and it's covering it. Now, to make this look like the inside of a sphere, we're just gonna take our bulge height, make it negative 0.7, and it's gonna look like the inside. And, boom. Now what we wanna do is right click, go to transform, um, transform, and say flip horizontal. Now, it's gonna look like the inside. Next thing we're gonna do is create our top layer, or uh, outside layer. So we're gonna duplicate, and we're gonna rename this outside, and we're gonna remove our bulge effect. So we're gonna give it, uh, we're gonna change some of these settings over here. So we're gonna make its light intensity 1000, and we're gonna leave it like that. And we are going to uh, right click on go to transform and flip horizontal. So now we have our text right here and we're just going to take the opacity of the inside and make it 26% so that it's a little bit more subtle but it's definitely visible. So there you guys have it. That's the sphere effect. And now we're going to do one last thing which is going to make it much easier for us to control the radius of our sphere. So we're going to create a new null object by right clicking and going to new null object. We're going to add an effect called slider control. We're going to drag it onto our null and we're going to rename this radius. And if you want, you can rename the null to say control. And what we're going to do is we're going to press the lock button once this layer is selected over here in the effects controls panel. I'm going to press lock. Now all we need to do is search up radius over here and press alt and click on the stopwatch and we can take this pick whip over here and link it to this slider. And it disappeared which uh, makes sense because the radius slider is at zero. So we're going to take this one and do the same thing and and same for the bulge as well, so we're gonna do these. And now as you can see, they're all disappeared, which means that this has worked. So now, all we have to do is go to our control, and if we can adjust our radius really easily, and we can animate it however we want. Also, you guys wanna make sure to unlock the effect controls panel so that you can see stuff other than the, just the radius slider. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, so make sure you stay tuned to see more content coming soon. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace.